Welcome to season five. Let's talk about some changes and what to expect coming up. not so long ago that kind of teased you with some changes that were coming some small some major in my life into this channel and while I can't reveal everything it will be step-by-step -step process but I can tell you about a few more things in this video so first of all why season five how do you determine what the seasons are for your episodes it kind of depends i don't want to have a season with 100 episodes and so what i do is i look for certain events right now we're at season five because we're into june the rainy season is ending and we're getting a lot more sunshine yay and there's changes so it just seemed a natural point so here we are welcome to season five the first change that you've probably noticed is the name change grand columbia what happened to cuenca ecuador i've already got those and i did explain this in a previous video about the theft of a domain name that was cuencaecuador.com i can't get it back and if i'm going to keep doing the blog that I had, then I needed a new domain name. I just took a step back and I said, well, what are these videos about? Are they just about Cuenca? Well, they're not just about Cuenca. I did one not too long ago about Salinas. I've done a number of them in Vilcabamba, in Loja, Paute, Gualaseo, Jordaleg, through Quito, Tulcan, over Ecuador, I have done videos. So it never has been Cuenca, Ecuador, really, although the focus was primarily on Cuenca, Ecuador. I also lived in Hinon for a year, and while it's right next door, it's, it's just a short bus ride away. It's about 18 miles, I believe. Was it ever specifically Cuenca? Not really. And then what about the three trips to Colombia, where I did videos there? Cuenca, Ecuador didn't really fit what I was doing. Now, if you want to know about Cuenca, of course, there's lots of videos, over 100, 150 videos on Cuenca alone. So, hmm, what should I call it? Well, I went to Colombia, so it's Colombia and Ecuador primarily. In the future, what will I do? Well, if Venezuela ever clears up, I want to go visit Venezuela. I know that's a pipe dream at this point, but it could happen. Well, what do they have in common? Well, what they have in common was around the 1800s, the beginning of the 1800s, they were all one country. Panama, Venezuela, Colombia, and Ecuador were all one country, founded by Simon Bolivar. And that country was called Gran Colombia. When Peru invaded Ecuador, all those treaty documents that I showed in a video were signed by Colombia, Gran Colombia, because Ecuador was part of Gran Colombia. I guess it was maybe the first version of the EU. Just like the EU, Gran Colombia failed. Zing. But it seemed appropriate for what I was trying to do. So I look up and sure enough, grand-columbia.com is available. So I grabbed that domain and I proceeded to make changes. So the Facebook name has changed and I changed the channel name from Cuenca, Ecuador to Gran Colombia. The blog that I'm doing has changed to Gran Colombia. So everything going forward will be under the name of Gran Colombia. Now that's not the major change or the major two things that I mentioned, but that that's, you know, that's a change. And here you go, that's one of them. Second thing that was very important and major to me was a laptop issue. Now, the biggest problem I have had over time in putting these videos up isn't for lack of content, 
It's their lack of ability to get them put up. Now, what do I mean by that? I came here with a laptop that was pretty powerful, an AMD 8, a fair amount of memory, and a good video card. And when I first started doing these, processing them in software program, it was a little slow, but it wasn't bad. Over the next couple years, coming up to a few months ago, uh, it worked okay. Video editing is probably the most taxing you can put on your CPU. It takes a lot of mem memory, it takes a lot of resources. And in continually doing those, when you're using a high level of resources, things overheat. And as it overheats over time, it degrades the processor. Work, it's very frustrating, and that's why it can take days to do something that before took hours. That problem is solved. Huge progress. That's a big change, and that means out going forward, I'll be able to do what I've been planning to do, been wanting to do, and that's to have somewhat of a schedule. And what I want to do is, you know about the Sunday news, I want to do that every Sunday. I also want to have one day set aside that little video coffee time that I did. The idea behind that is I want to have one day a week where I just chat. We just get a little communication going. You can email me, comment. You can give me ideas for the next one, but it's what's going on. What's going on with the videos? What are my plans? So that I don't bog down other videos with things like that. So there's two a week that I want to do that are regular on schedule videos. So this channel is going to become a little more uh, predictable and have a bit more of a format to it. And so there's yet another change. Another thing that I want to announce, I am the vice president of the foundation, San Martin Foundation, that is uh, set up to take care of street kids, get them off the street. I will, as always planned, I will be backing out of that. I need to be shed of that by October. So why am I backing away from some of these projects that I've been doing? Well, I'm backing away because I need to free up that time. Uh, first of all, and I don't mind, I need to be busy. I'm always busy. And those things fill that my days. I, you know, I get up in the morning and I run all day long. It's, it really keeps me hopping. But the other big announcement I'm preparing for a move. And no, I'm not going to say what yet. Uh, there's still some things that I could end up staying here, but I'm 95% to the point where I'm moving and I'm planning and I'm preparing for that move. And I can't be tied up with these things and then just move and then drop things on other people. I can't, I won't do that. Uh, so there is planning and preparation for that and for a big move. I'm excited about it. I think when you find out, you will be also. It's a, definitely a positive, and it has nothing to do with where I am. It has other factors involved. Where I am, I have a great life here. I live in a great house. I have all the comforts around me, things that I've accumulated uh, to set up my life here. And uh, I'm in one of the best neighborhoods in Cuenca. It's not a negative that I'm moving. It's a positive. And so there will be more as we get closer to October, which is my deadline. And the last thing for season five is on the 21st, I believe, I'll be jumping on the bus. I'll be going back to Columbia. I've got a couple errands to do. A friend wants me to bring a cell phone. I've got, a, and I'm gonna to visit Tom in Montezales. I'll be gone for anywhere between 10 and 14 days. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but about that long. And I'll be doing videos along the way. So before I go, if you have any particular requests about places that I'm going to be going, uh, this time around I'll be going through 
Epialis, Pasto. I don't plan on staying in any of those except Kali, and that will just be overnight. Kali, as I've mentioned before, I really despise the place, and I can't get out of there fast enough. I may love Colombia, but I don't love everywhere in Colombia. I'll be going to Armenia, but I'll be passing through. I'll be going through Pereira. I won't be there very long, uh, about a half an hour to an hour, and going to Manizales. I'll be in Manizales for probably two, possibly three days. And then I'll be going back to Armenia, visit some friends that I have there, and doing some things around there, coming back. The things that I need to do, I could do in about two or three days. But I'm not going to spend two days traveling to be there for two days and then run back. So after I get the things I need to do done, I'll be doing some video work and just kind of hanging out and enjoying the, the sunshine and the sandia. That's what's coming up. And that's an intro to season five. Give you some ideas um, of what's going on. And please, if you have any ideas of things you'd like, want to see, uh, please let me know. This can be an interactive channel. It should be. It is somewhat. Um, I'd like it to be more so. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please share these with other people. I need to keep growing this channel so it doesn't get lost in obscurity by the YouTube gods who are really messing with people on the lower end of the totem pole. Uh, so I need your help on that. And so that's it. Again, welcome to season five. I hope you enjoy it.